By sharing our knowledge and experience, we have succeeded in developing a unique approach that combines the best cultivation techniques on a small footprint. So I'm doing essentially integrated aquaculture and hydroponics. So we grow fish in tanks and then we take the wastewater from fish production and we cycle it through hydroponic elements and the plants clean the wastewater so we can send it back to the fish. Um, but what it really does is it takes the liability of fish production, that's the waste produced, and it turns it into another product that we can sell. And actually a product that we're finding is worth a lot more than the fish is. Okay. And what kinds of crops are you growing in the vertical gardens? So right now we're basically doing a little economic study. We're looking at a bunch of different greens and herbs and how, um, how well they sell in a small town like Laramie. So uh, part, of, part of the deal with these towers is that they're modular. We can take them down and we can haul them to market pole and people can pick their own greens and herbs at market. Wow, okay. Do you foresee that this is something that someone could have, say, at their home and have one tank with a few tilapia that maybe they were choosing to eat some of the fish and replenish the fish supply? It can work both ways. There are a lot of people that are already using these mm -hmm. in their homes okay. um, or in their own personal systems. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking anything from like a 30 or 50 gallon aquarium mm -hmm. up to, you know, hundreds or thousands of gallons of, of aquacultural effluent that they're dealing with. So, okay. um, yeah, it, it can be done on a really small scale and it can be done on a scale uh, where you're actually consuming some of the fish from your system. Okay. So you feed the fish so that the, you get the nutrients that you need for the plants. That's right. Okay. And we manage how we feed the fish to maximize the nutrients or to get what we want. Okay. Sometimes we're producing too much, sometimes we're producing too little. Uh -huh. The goal is to find the perfect kind of, uh, the perfect ground where we're producing just the right amount for plant production, um, but not so much that we end up with nutrient accumulation in our water. Right. Okay. One of the other aspects that tends to be kind of interesting, we don't see a lot of verticality in most gardening in Wyoming. So part of, part of the reason we do vertical is because we're in a northern climate, we have lots of sun, sometimes too much sun. Um, but what but we also have is a really low sun angle in the winter. So in the winter, the sun will come up and it'll just kind of skirt along the horizon and then go back down. And what that means is that angle of light hitting a horizontal crop is really you know, it really minimizes the amount of light reception those crops get. So by flipping our plane um, vertical, we have almost direct light from that low sun. You are the balcony, all while respecting the environment. What if the revolution started in your garden? Our solutions are based on several techniques. In the greenhouse, vertical farming can produce in an effective manner a variety of fruits and vegetables. Aquaponics brings together three living organisms symbiotically, plants, fish, and beneficial bacteria. The system requires 90% less water than traditional agriculture. There is no nitrogen runoff, synthetic fertilizers, or pesticides necessary.